Today on 21st Century Television, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Television. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Coating is an essential component of many products we use every day, from our car windows to food packaging. Yet many people don't realize the environmental impact of traditional coating products. Advenera Enterprises has created a new way to manufacture and apply coatings that's not only safer for the environment, but also performs better and costs less. Here today to discuss their solutions, we have Advenera's CEO and CTO, Elmira Ryabova. Welcome, Elmira. Thank you, Jackie. This is truly remarkable that 21st century business is focusing on energy saving and environmental friendly technologies. And I'm honored to be a part of advanced manufacturing movement in the U.S. Tell us more about the challenges posed by the traditional coating technology of today. Let's use a corrosion as an example that itself takes a $300 billion a year toll in the U.S. only. Traditionally, metals and alloys are protected with the conversion coatings based on the chromates. But chromates are found to be toxic and carcinogenic. Hmm. And the limitation um, to use of those uh, materials is coming from Environmental Protection Agency and Department of Defense. So we need to come up with something that would protect our materials without posing any hazard uh, risks and threats to the health and environment. Hmm. Elmira, tell me about Advenera, the company, and what your new technology entails. Advenera was born in the heart of Silicon Valley in a spirit of innovation that is still very active in the Silicon Valley, exactly with environmental considerations in mind. Uh, we, we need new technologies that would be cost effective and environmental friendly. Uh, so we came up with a technology that deposit coatings from the liquid phase, and that's why it's called SDN, Solution Derived Nanocomposites. And it's a glass-like coatings that can be tailored to have a different properties for different applications. But the technology itself is atmospheric low temperature uh, conveyor-based technology that is very cost effective and environmental friendly. Wow. Now, I know you come from Russia originally. Can you tell me the Elmira story? Well, I'm a Russian scientist, solid state physicist. And when Sony Soviet Union collapsed, we found ourselves without the ability to continue development in the material technologies and uh, solid state physics. So I uh, moved to the United States 13 years ago because I'm, um, I'm truly passionate about what I'm doing and I see the continuing of U.S. leadership in uh, high technology development as a very important factor for the world to be stable, and uh, that's why I'm here. Wow. The limitations of traditional coding processes have created unique opportunities for Advenera in markets as varied as automobile windows and aerospace. At Advenera, our greatest impact is likely in the energy efficiency area. We coat glass, which reduces the transmission of infrared heat in and out of a house, and also adding hard coating to polycarbonate, which reduces the weight of replacement glass in car windows. Advenera's ability to enable industrial-scale deposition of ultra-pure uniform coatings at low costs is a marked differentiator for the company. There are three major considerations when we're developing a new coating, and they are the environmental impact, the cost and the utility of the coating. Since we're a small company with limited resources, we need to focus our efforts, particularly in markets, where our coating would be a disruptive technology compared to the current technologies. Elmira, why is technology so important to coating processes in the 21st century? Imagine our existence 100 years ago. We didn't have uh, cell phones. We didn't have uh, polymers. We didn't have um, planes to fly. We didn't have television to watch. Uh, we didn't have a lot of compounds that currently surround us 
and the humankind population grew to six billion mm -hmm. people. We have to become more considerate about resources. In the major resources, energy, air, water, everything must be considered as a very important substances mm -hmm. to keep clean for us and our kids. For the future generations, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what does clean technology mean to you at Advenera? It means producing um, the same performing materials without using toxic substances, without generating hazardous wastes, and without huge, terrible energy consumption. Like the majority of vacuum method are highly consuming of energy. Hmm. So how will the innovations in Advenera's coding technology affect our lives and our future, do you think? The majority of people drive cars. We all fly planes. If we replace glass in a car with a polycarbonate, that could be twice as less, and therefore mileage will be twice as long. Right. Saving oil, saving money, saving emissions. Mm -hmm. uh, the polycarbonate is soft. So you need to give it a glass-like performance. And our coding can do that as a very, in a fraction of dollar per square meter. Really? We currently engage with the major uh, polycarbonate um, manufacturers and automotive glass suppliers mm -hmm. in that process of giving polycarbonate a chance to replace glass. That's amazing. That in itself sounds remarkable. Tell me what else is so special about Advenera's coatings. It is economical because it's atmospheric process. It's low temperature, so you can deposit it to plastic, to metal, to ceramic, to wood, to, to whatever you like. Hmm. You can also do that uniformly around very complex, complex form factor, mm -hmm. uh, like turbines, for example. That gives the turbines more uh, extended lifetime mm -hmm. and therefore less maintenance, less repair less replacement. Mm -hmm. It's all about savings. Mm -hmm. In very many cases, uh, we have a, we engaged with a petrochemical parts supplier. Um, they do um, the jet drilling. Mm -hmm. Instead of using bits, they use uh, cumulative jet. The um, abrasive slurry is accelerated in a, like miniature turbines. Huh. So those turbines must be cut to get longer life and avoid wear and tear. Uh, right. right, runway, uh -huh. basically. Uh, so right now they are not coated. There is no technology that can allow coating on these complex surfaces, crevices, planes, veins, and huh. so on and so forth. Wow, yet another innovation. Core to Advenera's industry possibilities is their solution-derived nanocomposites. The formation of a nanocomposite is important for two reasons. First, it guarantees the uniformity of properties throughout the coating. And second, and most important, is that in many cases it would be impossible to create a coating with a combination of properties without such fine control over the microstructure. Engineering works very closely with applications on Colton customer samples, as well as Colton full-size parts a lot of R&D work, coming up with prototype jigs, fixtures, attachments, developing the process, as well as overseeing facility, information technology, and security aspects of the company operation. Advenera's ability to enable industrial scale deposition of ultra-pure uniform coatings at low costs is a marked differentiator for the company. The technology does not come without its challenges, but the future looks very bright. The greatest challenge is that no two parts are alike, even if they serve a very similar function in the context of a semiconductor chamber. Each customer will have a unique design features, unique sizing, so all the work has to be custom tailored to the needs of that particular customer, both in terms of physical engineering and oftentimes in terms of process engineering. Well, I've worked in solution-based coatings for over 15 years. Avenira's technology is unique in that we are focusing on developing formulations and processes that are compatible with high throughput manufacturing. That involves formulating solutions that are easy to handle, have long shelf life, and can be rapidly cured at low temperatures. Also, since we have developed, designed, and as well as patented our own coating equipment, we can offer a complete coating solution to our customers. 
In the hands of Adveneer's talented engineers and employees, SDN Technology is paving the way for high-performance, high-endurance, low-cost coatings for industries both in the here and now and in the years to come. Give me some examples of the kind of problems that can be solved through the use of Adveneer's new coating technology. I mentioned this importance of um, focusing on the clean technologies and uh, renewable energy is one of the most important challenges that humankind faces. Mm -hmm. uh, we all know that the solar energy uh, can be harvested, but we don't know how to do that in a good and truly clean way. One of the possibilities, uh, so-called thin film photovoltaics, um, they have a very um, good promise, but they don't have a supporting technologist to be constructed in, a, again, it has to perform, but it has to do, be done economically. Mm -hmm. You cannot dump a lot of money in the solar cell because no, it cannot compete with the utility rate. Mm -hmm. So you say that using your coating because it is more economical would enable the use of solar cells themselves to be more economical on a widespread Exa basis? Exactly. We can give the, another chance to thin film photovoltaics that are currently facing tremendous challenges. So how could your technology impact us on a global level, Elmira? Everything that minimizes greenhouse gases emission is a tremendous help for us to extend our existence on this planet. Um, and again, it comes along with a reduction of fossil fuel usage. Mm -hmm. And it comes along with more uh, economical way of producing very many things. Mm -hmm. Flat screens, one of the example. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of vacuum technologies currently involved in that. Mm -hmm. And we can replace the majority of them with the liquid technology, which is done, as I said, in atmosphere, at room temperature, with no uh, hazardous waste generation. That is amazing. What is your go-to-market strategy, Elmira? It seems like your technology just has so many applications. That is our great challenge, because when you see a lot of pathways, and you're a small startup company, you have to be very wise. And we decided that the best way for us is to engage with a strategic partner in each market, market vertical that would give us a very clear understanding of market needs. Mm -hmm. And we will make sure that development is done to meet customers' expectations. What major challenges do you face? Everything. As a brand new technology, you need to start from the scratch. So you need to develop vendor expertise. You need to develop reliable supply chain. You need to align with your customers' applications all together at the same time hmm. with a very small team. Mm -hmm. What success have you seen so far? <laughs> we see a um, tremendous um, amount of engagement in the protective coating for semiconductor chamber components. Mm -hmm. um, we practically got through the qualification and we are ready to, to do the commercial um, implementation of this technology. Wow. Same for polycarbonate. We coated a uh, large size sunroofs for several cars and they passed all this uh, testing. So we are very excited to see those two applications ready to go so we can refocus on the next two. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you may be looking for more strategic partners. Would that be the case? Absolutely. I would love to engage with those giants of uh, U.S. Uh, manufacturing, like Boeing, General Electric, Dow, DuPont. Hmm. So overall, Elmira, who will benefit from the adoption of Adveneer technology? I think that ultimate beneficiaries are people, whether they are users of this technology, makers, it's additional uh, jobs created for those factories, or those are just citizens that enjoy safer and cleaner environment. But overall, I would like to see the technological leadership uh, continue to be um, a main uh, feature of this country. Uh, I think it's very important that the United States would lead the way to new technologies, and I'm very happy to see that. This is my third startup company, so you, you could say that I tend to gravitate towards startups versus large established companies. 
There are really two things that I like about startups. First is the fast pace in which decisions are made. If there is a problem, we all sit down, talk about possible solutions, and then immediately execute on a given goal. There really isn't a lot of bureaucracy that slows down the decision-making process. And then second, I just simply enjoy working on cutting-edge technology. The important features of our coatings is improved optical performance for glass. In plastics, it's increased hardness and abrasion resistance. In metals, it's protection from environmental corrosion. Advenera will expand internationally because our markets are global. In five years, Advenera will be the supplier of functional, optical, and protective coatings for a wide variety of industries with multi-billion dollar markets. Lastly, Elmira, where do you want to see Advenera in the next five years? I want to see that as a large global company, public company, preferably, um, that would supply coatings to very many industries. Mm -hmm. Elmira, thanks for joining us today. It just seems like there's so many applications for your technology. Thanks for showing us how clear the future could look with your technology. Thank you, Jackie. It's been great to be here. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching. <laughs>